Hi, I'm Farmer Roy, Horticultural Manager at Sunshine Care, a memory care community in Poway, California. Hi, I'm Kyle Hawkins with Grand Jettos Farm and Garden Supply in San Diego, California. And we're here to give you tips to have the best productive garden you can. So after you set up your furrows and you're ready to plant, you want to make sure you get some irrigation into the ground. Automating the system is great, as well as putting in some type of drip tape, hard pipe tubing, or even using a kit that has everything in that you need. So once you have your beds prepped, nice and level, you lay out your drip tape. We use strictly drip tape here at Sunshine Care. It is a plastic product with emitters every eight inches. Uh, creates uniformity. It's much more than just a piece of a hose with holes in it. There's a lot of engineering that went on in, involved to get it to flow uniformly. So we actually get about 0.5 gallons per 100 feet per minute with this tape, which probably doesn't mean much to the backyard grower, but uh, that's how much water that these emit for us. And we'll have our timers set to one to three hours, depending on the time of year. But right down the middle of the bed, looking good, ready for planting. So when setting up your tubing, make sure that you run it as straight as you can along the top of the header. You'll want to use a punch to make a hole in the tubing. You'll insert the barbed end of your lock sleeve into the tubing. The drip tape will go right over the top of the barb and close your lock sleeve right on top. So after you set up your drip tape or poly tubing, you want to make sure that you automate your irrigation system. This will help out a lot to make sure the plants are getting watered properly. A basic battery power controller will do that for you. Make sure that you set it to twice a week for two to three hours if you're running drip tape. The drip tape water comes out very slow, so you want to make sure that the timer is set up correctly. 